So in this video, we're going to take a look at three problems that involve spheres. Number one, a sphere has a radius of 90 centimetres. Calculate the volume of the sphere in cubic metres to three significant figures. So first of all, it makes sense to convert this into metres. So that's 0.9 metres. So the volume formula given here, volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume is 4 thirds pi times r, which is 0.9 metres, cubed. And we want to give it to three significant figures, so I'm going straight to my calculator. 4 thirds times pi times 0.9 cubed. And we get 3.053628, etc. Now that's in cubic metres. But we want it to three significant figures. So that's 3.05 cubic metres to three significant figures. OK, so that's our first one. Number two. A sphere has a radius of 2 millimetres. Find the exact surface area of the sphere in cubic, oh, sorry, in square centimetres. OK, so the surface area formula up here is 4 pi r squared. So uh, because we want the exact surface area in square centimetres, it makes sense to convert this to centimetres before we begin. So, the surface area is 4 pi times r squared. So, we're going to use 0 0.2 centimetres squared. Now, because it's asking us for the exact surface area, I don't really want to use a calculator with pi. Otherwise, it's going to turn it into decimals. I don't want that. Um, so, I don't want to do any rounding here. I want the final answer to be exact. So... What is 0.2 squared? Well, 2 squared is 4, and we have two numbers to the right of the decimal point, so that's 0.04. Now, four lots of 0.04 will be 0.16. So that's 0.16 pi, and I want to make sure I've got the units, square centimetres. Okay, and so that is an exact answer. Right, number three. A hemisphere has a surface area of one square metre. Find the radius of the hemisphere in centimetres to three significant figures. So a hemisphere is half a sphere. Okay, so it looks like this. Kind of like snow globe kind of idea here. Now we know that the total surface area is one square metre. We want to work out the radius. So really what I need is a formula for that surface area of the hemisphere. So the total area is going to be, now we've got the base of the circle, sorry, the base of the hemisphere, which is a circle, which is pi r squared. And then we've got the area of half a sphere, the surface area of half a sphere. So that's half of 4 pi r squared. So that would be 2 pi r squared. OK, so that is coming from half of the overall sphere. So we've got a pi r squared plus a 2 pi r squared. So that means in total we've got 3 pi r squared. And we know what the area has got to be. It's got to be 1. So 1 has got to be 3 pi r squared. OK. So this we can now rearrange to get r. So if I divide both sides by 3 pi, r squared will be 1 over 3 pi. And then I need to square root both sides. Now, of course, we're not bringing in any kind of 
plus minus here because o r is a length. Okay, so it will just be a positive value. So don't worry about plus minus here. We're just going to have the square root of 1 over 3 pi, which is 0.325735, etc. Now, units wise, because my area was in square meters, this is in meters. But I want it in centimetres, so I need to multiply that by 100, and so I get 32.5735, so that's 32.6 centimetres to three significant figures.